Hey, what is up guys? Mr. The Reverts here and this is the week of PAX West over in Boston and Black Ops 4 is one of the main attractions at this gaming convention and of course there has been a few new changes that have been made to Black Ops 4 such as the player lobby layout, the Codcaster mode and more. Now guys, PAX is basically this really big gaming convention where the new up and coming games are mainly showcased and also they are going to be available to play for the public. There is a PAX event hosted in my city, PAX South, I always go to that every year, but sadly there isn't any new Call of Duty stuff showcased, but still there's like tournaments and that kind of stuff so it's uh, pretty fun and yeah, Black Ops 4 is playable at PAX West this week and some footage of the game has been making its rounds over the internet and one of them was this image showcasing the player lobby so it still kind of is the same pretty much except you can now see everyone's player inside the lobby it's a little bit like world war ii in a way but i think it looks more clean and of course when player customization comes in you will be able to see the different types of character gear sets on your specialist character now during the beta there was that annoying little cursor that you are forced to use in order to navigate around the different options in the menu treyarch did state that they weren't gonna do away with it completely but instead they were gonna allow you to use both the d-pad and the cursor to navigate around the menu which honestly I do not mind at all at the end of the day but I just think the cursor should be adjusted to be a little faster because in the beta it was very very slow um, the lobby timer I was okay with because uh, I actually liked the longer time because it gave me more uh, time to do stuff on the computer and that kind of stuff but I understand some people want to jump into games really quick so I think the timer should be adjusted to be about 10 seconds less than the original time um, but regardless that wasn't a big concern for me honestly and uh, yeah in general the lobby looks really really clean really nice and I love it a lot next guys at PAX this was the first time where the Codcaster mode has been showcased I have some footage on screen for you guys full credit goes out to Dominator over on Twitter the quality isn't as good because it was ripped from Twitter and uh, I'm gonna have a link to it down below in the description if you guys want to go see that but you can kind of make out the specialist characters they are going to be shown at the very top of the gameplay now with their stats and the meter bar for their specialist equipment and ability it's pretty cool honestly it does kind of remind me of overwatch's caster mode which looks very very clean very professional like you can see really everything about the game right there so yeah black ops 4 looks really sick they are going to take a page out of overwatch and i'm sure we are going to get some more details on everything about the caster mode and what it can do at the esports reveal event coming up here on September 19th this month so just a few weeks from now and also you will notice that there are five players in the game I don't think we should jump to conclusions so fast though and think that competitive this year is going to be 5v5 because the game played right now at PAX could just be a private match because you can use the COD caster mode in pubs with the pubs rule set like it's not just locked down to the competitive rules but hey I mean it could just be 5v5 this year which would really shake up the comp scene especially since every team is gonna have to pick up one more player we'll see what happens guys but yeah I really love the way the Codcaster mode looks this year and again we are gonna get some more information about esports in just a few weeks here finally the last part of the video I want to talk about crossplay with the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox one a lot of COD fans who play on the PS4 are hoping that they can play with players over on the Xbox but sadly I do not think that's going to be happening because earlier this week Sony CEO Kenichiro Yoshida attended a conference in Berlin Germany and he was asked if Fortnite will feature crossplay between the PS4 and Xbox One basically he said that Sony will not allow crossplay between Fortnite on the Xbox One because playing on the PlayStation 4 is the best experience for players and by the statement i really can't see sony agreeing to allow crossplay with the xbox one however in the full statement he says on cross-platform, our way of thinking is that always PlayStation is the best place to play Fortnite. I believe partnered with PlayStation 4 is the best experience for users. That's our belief. But actually, we already opened some games as cross-platform with PC and some others, so we decide based on what is the best user experience. That is our way of thinking for cross-platform. So based off that statement, I just really don't think Black Ops 4 on the PlayStation 4 is going to be playable with the PlayStation 
players on the Xbox One. A lot of COD fans are really hoping that you could, but I just don't think Sony will ever allow this to happen because, yeah, it's a fact they are on top of the gaming console scene, and Microsoft is a competitor, so I can definitely see and understand why they do not want to allow cross-platform. Either way, though, I'm not bothered by it. I definitely would love to have this feature to be open, but I don't have too many friends that I could play with on the Xbox. I know some people are different, though, but honestly, if I wanted to play with players on the Xbox, I would just get an Xbox if I didn't have one. Um, same thing goes for the PlayStation 4. If I didn't have one, I would just buy one and play with friends over there. I get that some people may not be in a good financial situation, though, but still, like, Sony more than likely is never going to ever allow cross-platform with players. Right now, that's all just wishful thinking. Maybe one day, but that day is nowhere near on Sony's horizon. Um, but please tell me down below in the comments your thoughts about the CODcast mode, the new player lobby, and just your thoughts in general about cross-platform between the PS4 and the Xbox One for Call of Duty Black Ops 4. If there's more stuff that comes out on PAX West this week, I'll be sure to cover for you guys. But again, tell me your thoughts about everything we talked about down below. If you guys enjoyed today's video, don't forget to leave a like rating and subscribe to be kept up to date with the latest Call of Duty Black Ops 4 tips and tricks, news, and more. Also be sure to follow me over on Twitter. And yeah, I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for all your support. Till next time, I'll see you later.